I, like many of you, really enjoyed Yui Metal's contribution to the whole sound, the whole image, the whole personality, the whole thing that was Baby Metal. But I'm about to express an opinion that, you know, just don't be offended. Hi there and welcome back to Japan, where today I'm going to be talking a little bit about Yui Metal as well as the future of Baby Metal, um, Momoko, and all the various things that are really sort of coming into play ever since the announcement of the other one, the one that basically Baby Metal have been announcing a lot of things that seem to have been making it pretty clear that a third member, seemingly Momoko, is going to be announced and there has been a huge amount of chatter that I've heard about this. Now I myself didn't really say anything about this at first because of the fact that I was thinking well let's wait till the announcement but considering there's been so much chatter I'm gonna butt in with just a little bit of an opinion on this. Now of course the first thing to really say here is the, the you know a lot of people really missed Yui Metal for a couple of reasons and it's not just the fact that she was such a just an enjoyable character. She was so full of life, full of energy. She really did symbolize a lot of the cuteness of the band. Not saying that Moa doesn't, but I'm saying that Yui, when she left, it changed the whole dynamic of what the band was. I mean, before we had Black Baby Metal, we had this thing where Sue could kind of be at the front because the two at the back were like a team of their own. It was almost like there was layers to what Baby Metal was. And then when Yui went away, we had two things that I think really sort of drove the nail in a bit harder. I mean, first of all was the fact that we kind of saw Sue alongside Moa and you can't help but say no disrespect to the crew and everyone who puts together the whole babe metal thing but it was kind of clear that Sue was kind of overpowering Moa's presence. Now this is partly in when they did their older songs up until that point you know you can't help it you know if Sue's been designed to be at the front and with two members kind of doing a lot of the backing vocals and filling in a lot of the space around her like teamwork it's going to be hard for Moa to do that on her own and not kind of look like she's playing a diminished role and this is nothing against baby metal I mean they were put in a very difficult position but ultimately yeah that's where they were left and then the other thing that kind of made it even more of a difficult issue for a lot of the fans was the fact that the next album to come out was of course Metal Galaxy now I really like Metal Galaxy I'll often be a defender of it even though it does have Omagenai on it <sighs> but apart from the fact that it has Omagenai on it is that I basically I like that album I think it's good I've said all three of the albums we've had thus far have really added something very different to the Babe Metal sound and I think together they come together as a perfect triad that really give you this beautiful trilogy of fantastic albums and I'm really well I understand why they made that an era of the band and then moved on from there afterwards and have started this whole new phase but it can't be avoided that for most people Metal Galaxy was the most divisive album divisive album which is the right way to pronounce that is that an English American thing I don't know. I've always said divisive, but then I heard someone say divisive recently, and now I'm saying it. Anyway, that's the most divisive album that Babe Metal have released, and a lot of people felt it wasn't up to the quality or the impact of the previous two albums. Okay, I get that. Um, and so, you know, that's also, although I'm sure no one's blaming Babe Metal, it is tied in with the period, the post-UE period. Now, of course, opinions might change on that when we get the new album, but the new album seems to be synchronized with them announcing a new member seemingly again none of us know any of us for sure this entire video could be entirely redundant very soon so let's talk about what's going to happen next see i've read so many comments from people and you know we've got a very small but very vocal and you know, wonderful community on this channel and more people than i ever expected were saying things about how if they were going to bring a new member in they'd want yui to come back to hand over and, you know, you couldn't have a new member without them respecting Yui by having her come back to, you know, just somehow ceremonially hand it over. And I totally get that. I do totally get how they're feeling and why they're saying that. But I think one thing is being kind of missed here, which is that there seems to be this element that Yui has to come back almost to respect Yui. But it seems to me Yui left... And since then, she's been kind of quiet. She's been kind of private. Most people say that, apart from some things, she doesn't seem to be deliberately putting herself in the limelight, in the spotlight. Now, of course, don't go wrong. If a muse or anyone involved in the management decides to go to you and say, look, here's a big amount of money. Please just turn up for one show for ceremonial reasons. I wouldn't be overly surprised if she said, yes, please give me that money. I'm coming. Here we go. I'll do it but it seems to me that Yui doesn't she well, she's not given the impression of wanting to do this it seems to me that she left in the perfect way she's done with it it's over and that is going to be hard for a lot of people to hear I know 
But I do get that. And for me, one of the things that I liked most about it is it was not made this kind of awkward, weird thing where she turned up and went away, turned up and went away. She just kind of clean finish. She was gone. She was out. Maybe just baby metal was something that she really enjoyed, but she decided it was something that she'd enjoyed, but it wasn't where she wanted to go in the future. Maybe she had more conventional life plans and seeing this whole thing blowed up, she thought, I don't want this to be my life. I don't want this to be hanging over me always. Who knows? But we have to take into consideration there's a good possibility that she's just going to, she'd be happy to sit at home, maybe just load up a live stream on TV and just watch the new member join and she'd probably be sitting at home smiling going, oh, that's nice. I'm glad they got someone new there. That could be it. That could be it. And to be honest, I would much, in a way, I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, I would much rather that than seeing her suddenly turn up and thinking, is she just turned up for a paycheck because... You know, she doesn't really 100% want to do this, but, you know, she's worried that the fans are going to hate her if she isn't there or that her other two baby metal members who she maybe feels a bit bad for leaving behind, she's going to feel bad if they suddenly lose the love of their fans because they feel that they, you know, because the fans feel that baby metal disrespected Yui. Um, I kind of feel a little bit more concerned that if Yui turned up, it would be for reasons other than because she genuinely wanted to the way i like to picture it i i really want a new third member i do and i think momoko would be a great fit and um to me whoever they pick i'm sure they're gonna pick really well but i think everyone's kind of said look it's a it's a surefire thing it's like momoko now but if momoko just turns up and she gets added to the group i am going to imagine yui sitting at home like i say watching it on live stream just a little smile on her face maybe <laughs> Little glass of sake or you know, green tea or something. Go for your stereotypes. Sitting down, drinking that and just feeling happy and going, I'm glad. Maybe a little bit of a weight off of her chest about, oh, I don't feel so bad about having, you know, left them as a, a two-piece. You know, I don't have to feel so bad for Moa anymore. That's the way I like to imagine it. I don't know. Maybe everyone's going to disagree with me. But there you go. Those are my thoughts. I know everyone misses Yui, but... You got, you got to know when to let it go. See, she's just going to turn up now and I'm going to feel really like an idiot for saying this. But anyway, these are my thoughts. I thought I'd put them in the video. Looking forward to hearing what you guys say. And as usual, I'll be reading the comments to see what those things are. But until I hopefully see you very soon in Japan for the next one of these, for now, ciao, ciao.